pray together. Father, you are, you're a father. And these are your daughters. These are the ones that you love and that you care for and that are closer even than our human fathers. There you are. And I just, right now, I just want to affirm your love and your care and your tenderness and your kindness and your love and your faithfulness to this group, Lord. And Father, I thank you, Lord, that no matter where they go, what they do, and, 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 and whatever it is that there you're going to be, holding their hands, walking with them. Father, I ask that as we move forward, that these young women would change the lives of many. That those who grow close to them in the coming days, they would see Jesus through these young women. By the way that they hear Jesus speak and the kindness and the mercy and the servant-heartedness, would it overwhelm the world? That the world would never have seen something so kind, so gentle, come out of a human frame that could only be accredited to you. Father, well, thank you for these families. These families embody those qualities. They have been ones who have shown them, and just like you have, Father. So I thank you for them. I pray for the hearts of these families right now. As they prepare for a transition, some of them, these being their oldest, it's new, it's different. But Father, I ask for grace to love and to take a step back, but also to stay near. Father, thank you for your grace and mercy on these families. They are incredible families. Let your faithfulness shine. Father, we love you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys. Give them a round of applause. I'm going to welcome Jonathan Kurtz up here. I have Jonathan. Jonathan is an 